So hello everyone and a very good morning to all of you. Welcome back once again to another session of PIB 247. In today's session, we are going to talk about the PIB news from 18th to 20th of November 2022. And I hope your preparations for RBI 2023 are going well. So let's begin with the session without any delay. But before we begin, if you want to have the PDF of this session, you can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. And if you want to ace the RBI examination this year, then you can enroll in the live class courses by visiting anujindal.in. Alright, so let's begin with very first question which says, which portal was launched by National Commission for Protection of Child Rights headed by Rekha Sharma? Headed by Rekha Sharma. Right. To address the amended roles of child welfare committees and district child protection officers in matters of children who are in the need of care and protection. So a new portal has been launched by the Ministry of uh, by the National Commission for Protection of Child Rights, NCPCR. And the name of the portal is Ghar. There is a full form of Ghar, obviously. What is the full form of Ghar? Ghar stands for Go Home and Reunite. Right. What is the full form? Go Home and Reunite. Now, this portal has been launched for restoration and repatriation of child, right? And more specifically, this portal will focus, will address the amended roles of child welfare committees and district child protection officers in matters of children who are in the need of care and protection. All right. And, but more specifically, it will talk about the restoration and repatriation of child. Now, these are some of the basic features of this portal, which you should remember. Number one. It will help in digitally tracking and monitoring of children who are in the juvenile justice system and they have to be repatriated to another country, another state or another district. All right. Number one, digital number two, digital transfer of cases of children to the concerned child welfare committees or juvenile justice board. JJB is juvenile justice board and CWC is child welfare committee. So to transfer digitally the cases of uh, children to the concerned juvenile justice board or child welfare committees of the state and it will help of course in speedy repatriation of children. And finally, to provide a list of government schemes to all the uh, child welfare committees so that the benefits of those government schemes which are meant for such children can be transferred to them. Right. So these are the basic features of this portal and therefore the correct answer guys to this question is what? Ghar. Option C, Ghar is the correct answer. I hope this is clear. Moving ahead to question number two. Ministry of Port, Shipping and Waterways has announced India's first National Center of Excellence for Green Port and Shipping. So it is important because indeed it is India's first. All right. It will develop a regulatory framework and alternative technology adoption roadmap for green shipping to foster carbon neut uh, neutrality and circular economy in shipping sector. What are the key activities to be undertaken by this National Center of Excellence? So let's talk about it. Then we'll come back to the question. So it is India's first National Center of Excellence for Green Port and Shipping. Right. Now, what is the basic objective of this National Center of Excellence? So this Center of Excellence will develop a regulatory framework, an alternate technology adoption roadmap for green shipping. Right. अलग अलग करके पढ़ते हैं तोड़ के पढ़ते हैं नंबर सबसे पहले क्या करेगा ये एक रेगुलेटरी फ्रेमवर्क बनाएगा इट विल डेवलप अ रेगुलेटरी फ्रेमवर्क ठीक है फॉर ग्रीन शिपिंग नंबर 2 इट विल डेवलप अल्टरनेट टेक्नोलॉजी एडॉप्शन रोड मैप इन द एरिया ऑफ शिपिंग सेक्टर व्हाट शुड बी द अल्टरनेटिव टेक्नोलॉजी दैट वी कैन एडॉप्ट सो दैट मेक सो दैट टू मेक इट अ ग्रीन सेक्टर राइट टू फॉस्टर कार्बन न्यूट्रलिटी एंड दिस विल बी डन this will be done to foster the carbon neutrality and circular economy in the shipping sector. I hope this is clear. The objective is clear. Now it will work in five broad areas. Number one, policy regulate, uh, regulation and research, human resource development, network, key partners and strategic collaborators, explore area of work, outcomes, projects and resources and finally engage. Right. So these are the five broad areas on which this National Center of Excellence will work. And remember one thing that it will work under the Sagar Mala program of this ministry. There is a Sagar Mala program of ministry under this program. This National Center of Excellence will work. All right. So do remember this also. Sagar Mala wala cheese yaad rakhna. 
right and these are the key activities so as i already mentioned you that it will work under the framework of sagar mala program and these are the three key activities number one energy management number two emission management and number three sustainable maritime operations which means green energy emission management which means to control the carbon emission in the shipping sector and then such maritime operations will be undertaken which are sustainable in nature all right so that is all about this news and now let's come back to the question key activities ke bare mein question hai so the key activities are energy management emission management and sustainable maritime operations which means one two and three option b will be the correct answer guys i hope this question is also clear moving ahead to question number 3 india took over as the council chair of the global partnership on artificial intelligence for the year 2022 2023 this is important do remember it identify an incorrect statement about this partnership gp ai which is global partnership on ai now uh, it is in news because because of this only that india took over as the council chair of this global partnership on ai right and it it happened during the third annual gpi summit which took place in tokyo in japan right from japan we have uh, overtaken this uh, council chair all right humse pehle kaun tha japan tha but now we are the uh, holder of council chair of this global partnership of on ai right <clears throat> now we have to discuss about this global partnership of course when it is in news we should know about this organization right you, because you never know ki question is global partnership pe hi aa jaye right so the objective of this organization of this partnership is to fill the gap between theory and practice of ai jo theoretical cheeze chal rahi hai artificial intelligence pe aur jo practical cheeze chal rahi hai unke beech mein jo gap hai usko fulfill karna is the objective of this partnership by supporting cutting edge research as well as applied activities etc it was established in the year 2020 and of course it is a multi stakeholder initiative to support responsible and human centric development and use of artificial intelligence the development and use of artificial intelligence should be human centric uska misuse nahi hona chahiye right moving ahead there are total 25 member countries in it and india was one of the founding members and uh, 2020 mein establish hua and india was one of the founding members its secretariat is being hosted by oecd organization of economic cooperation and development with two centers of expertise which are located in montreal in canada and paris in france and remember it has uh, the main organ which is known as council and steering committee all right so that is all about this partnership and now let's come back to the question incorrect statement nikalna hai hame it is a multi stakeholder initiative to support responsible and human centric development and use of ai absolutely correct it was established in 2020 bilkul sahi baat hai till date 25 member countries are its member including india absolutely correct council and steering committee are its two main organs ye bhi sahi hai to option e must be the correct answer and that must be an incorrect statement its secretariat is not hosted by world economic forum but by oecd which means option e option e is the correct answer guys to this question i hope this is clear moving ahead to next question Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs headed by Hardeep Singh Puri has launched Toilets 2.0 campaign on the occasion of World Toilet Day which was observed on 19th of uh, November <coughs> sorry it aims to change the face of public and community toilets in urban india through collective action involving citizens and urban local bodies which of the following are the are amongst the five thematic areas of this campaign so let's talk about the toilet campaign 2.0 so this was a second edition of toilet campaign and it has been launched on it was launched on 19th november that is observed as world toilet day across the world and the objective of this campaign was to change the face of public and community toilets in urban area by overall participation from various stakeholders like civil societies ngos and of course the citizens of those uh, of those areas right now it was focused on five thematic areas which are people for toilets uh, under it cleaning and maintaining the community and public toilets then we have partners for toilets which was for adoption of public toilets design toilets which was a, a design challenge nothing more than that rate your toilet promoting user feedback to improve the public toilets and finally 
my thoughts are toilets which is which was for gathering public opinions right so these are the five thematic areas on the basis of which this toilet 2.0 campaign was organized and now let's come back to the question which of the following are amongst the five thematic areas so people for toilets partner for toilets design toilets rate of toilet my thoughts are toilets so all of the above option e will be the correct answer moving ahead to question number whatever it is question number dalna main bhul gaya hu but don't worry you will have the question numbers in the pdf identify incorrect statement about swachh vidyalaya puraskar so remember guys it is in news because the third edition of swachh vidyalaya puraskar uh, has been presented by the ministry of education right it was the third edition and is wale edition mein uh, uh, 9.5 lakh school registered right total how many schools registered for the, these awards 9.59 lakh school right and at the national level 39 schools were selected right 39 schools mein se 34 in overall all category and 5 in sub categories were selected for national level awards and these were selected after third party evaluation by un unicef partner agency nirman right unicef ki ek partner agency hai jiska naam hai nirman usne evaluation kara tha and that nirman identified these 39 schools at the national level jinko fir prizes diye gaye right cash prize of rupees 60000 was given to 34 skill, uh, schools in overall category and uh, cash prize of rupees 20000 20000 was given to the schools which are which which were selected in sub categories at the national level all right now talking more about swachh vidyalaya puraskar so guys remember the objective of this these puraskar these awards is to ensure long term sustainability and behavioral change in the schools of the nation right jo hamare desh ke school hai usme behavioral change lana is the objective of these awards right and it was launched in the year 2016 17 under swachh vidyalaya initiative right launched by department of school education and literacy of course and unicef remember is the technical partner right unicef is the technical partner and it honors the schools who have done an exemplary work in the area of clean water sanitation wagera wagera and these these awards have been given this time based on six parameters these are water toilets hand washing with soap operation and maintenance behavior change and capacity building and covid 19 preparedness and response now this sixth indicator this sixth parameter was included for the very first time in 21 22 right and these awards have been given at the district level at the state level and at the national level all right so i hope swachh vidyalaya puraskar is clear moving back to the question it was launched by ministry of housing and urban affairs no this is incorrect it honors the schools who have taken exemplary work in the field of water sanitation and hygiene this is correct it is given only at national level is that so no it is given at district state and national level unicef is the technical partner this is correct and under it only schools from urban areas are rated on six broad parameter it is not so schools from both the urban areas and rural areas are being uh, judged right so 1 3 and 5 are incorrect and incorrect hi nikalna hai which means option b will be the correct answer i hope this is clear aage chalte hain next question pe now this question is also based on uh, portals which have been launched by ministry of new and renewable energy headed by rajkumar singh right so ministry of new and renewable energy has recently launched a portal to serve as a single window platform to register and submit online applications for grant of central financial assistance under national bioenergy program so okay what is the name of this portal you have to identify it right so let's discuss two portals have been launched one is bio urja and one is biogas right talking about bio urja portal so remember this portal bio urja portal will be used by the applicants for registering uh, you know for applying for grants of central financial assistance under the national bio energy program right national bio energy program mein jo bhi central financial assistance diya jata hai uske liye apply karne ke liye use hoga ye wala portal right it will help waste to energy project biomass pellet manufacturing plants biomass based cogeneration project right and also enables registered users to track their application status and to track their 
फंडिंग स्टेटस की कितना टाइम लगेगा पैसा आने में और राइट एंड देन वी हैव बायो गैस पोर्टल इट विल इनेबल द इंडिविजुअल बेनिफिशियरी हु आर सेटिंग अप हु वांट्स टू सेट अप एक्चुअली द स्मॉल बायो गैस प्लांट एंड मीडियम साइज बायो गैस प्लांट्स राइट अंडर नेशनल बायो एनर्जी प्रोग्राम एंड दिस पोर्टल विल बी यूज टू सबमिट दी एप्लीकेशन टू सबमिट दी एप्लीकेशन अंडर नेशनल बायो एनर्जी प्रोग्राम एंड इट इज फॉर सच एप्लीकेंट हु वॉन्ट टू मेक द स्मॉल साइज बायो गैस प्लांट एंड मीडियम साइज बायो गैस प्लांट Do remember the objective only यही क्वेश्चन आएगा पेपर में ठीक है कि आपको क्वेश्चन में ऑब्जेक्टिव डिफाइंड होगा एंड यू वुड हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द पोर्टल दिस क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट द बायो ऊर्जा पोर्टल ऑप्शन सी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर आई होप दिस इज क्लियर लेट्स मूव एड टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रिसेंटली प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी हैज इनोग्रेटेड काशी तमिल संगमम नाउ दिस दिस इज क्लियर फ्रॉम इट्स नेम इट सेल्फ काशी तमिल काशी इज ऑफकोर्स वाराणसी इन तमिल इज तमिल संगम मतलब मिक्सचर uh, और मिक्सचर नहीं बोलेंगे कोलाबोरेशन बोल सकते हैं सो so, काशी तमिल संगम अ मंथ लॉन्ग प्रोग्राम बीइंग ऑर्गेनाइज्ड इन वाराणसी उत्तर प्रदेश क्वेश्चन इज विच इज दी नोडल नॉट मॉडल इट्स नोडल मिनिस्ट्री फॉर दिस इवेंट ठीक है कौन सी मिनिस्ट्री नोडल मिनिस्ट्री है फॉर दिस इवेंट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट देन विल कम बैक टू इट सो अभी आप लोगों ने देखा होगा टीवी में प्राइम मिनिस्टर वाराणसी पहुंचे थे और उन्होंने एक तमिलियन ड्रेस पहनी हुई थी लुंगी एंड कुर्ता एंड दैट शॉल सो दैट इज दैट इज बिकॉज उन्होंने काशी तमिल संगमम प्रोग्राम लॉन्च किया था राइट सो प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी हैज इनोग्रेटेड काशी तमिल संगमम विच इज अ मंथ लॉन्ग प्रोग्राम बीइंग ऑर्गेनाइज्ड इन वाराणसी एंड द नोडल मिनिस्ट्री फॉर एडेड मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन विच इज एडेड बाय धर्मेंद्र प्रधान राइट ना ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम बाय दिस प्रोग्राम इज बींग ऑर्गेनाइज Right, so objective of this program, guys, is to celebrate, reaffirm, and rediscover the age-old links between these two societies. One is Kashi and one is Tamil, right? And there are various, uh, you know, history in दोनों के बीच में उस उसको revive करने के लिए this program has been launched, and to provide an opportunity for people from these two region uh, to together share their knowledge, culture, and best practices. So basically. आपने एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत प्रोग्राम के बारे में सुना होगा दिस इज समथिंग लाइक दैट ओनली राइट एंड एक्चुअली इट विल प्रमोट द एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत प्रोग्राम आल्सो राइट नाउ ऑर्गेनाइज द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एजुकेशन द नोडल मिनिस्ट्री इन कोलैबोरेशन विद अदर अदर मिनिस्ट्रीज एंड डिपार्टमेंट्स इंप्लीमेंटिंग एजेंसी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई मद्रास एंड बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी एंड इट दिस प्रोग्राम इज इन सिंक विद नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसीज emphasis on integrating the wealth of indian knowledge system of course when we are uh, intermixing the culture of kashi and tamil then of course we are promoting the integration of wealth of indian knowledge system right so let's come back to the question ministry of education guys is the nodal ministry option d option d will be the correct answer moving ahead ISRO Indian Space Research Organisation under Prarambh Mission successfully launched India's first privately built rocket recently from Sri Hari Kota in Andhra Pradesh what is the name of this rocket remember this rocket is named after india uh, father of indian space program father of indian space program and who is that person vikram sarabhai and therefore the correct answer is vikram suborbital and it has been developed by skyroot aerospace sky root aerospace is the startup which has developed this rocket all right do remember the name vikram sabot sub orbital is the correct answer and under which mission it has been launched prarambh mission okay next question where was 23rd international conference of chief justices of the world took place remember it took place in the capital of uttar pradesh and what is the capital of uttar pradesh it's lucknow option d is the correct answer by which year this is important question government of india is aiming to achieve full distribution of fortified rice in all government programs so the government intends to achieve uh, the fortified rice in all the government programs by the year 2024 option c is the correct answer all right and which international organization has developed annapurna annapurthi grain atm it is nothing but a grain atm right atm ki tarah machine hoti hai usi mein se grain nikal jate hain ऑफ़ कोर्स इससे आसानी हो जाती है ग्रेन्स की डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन में 
aimed at easing up the process of dispensing grain at ration shops in India. First such ATM, if you remember, first such ATM was launched in Gurugram. Gurugram mein sabse pehla launch hua tha, aur uske baad, currently we have four at uh, Gurgaon, Dehradun, Varanasi and Bhubaneswar, and six more are being installed at these places, which are Gorakhpur, Lucknow, Shillong, Ahmedabad, Mumbai and Bangalore. Right, and remember, it has been developed by World Food Program. Option D is the correct answer. All right, guys. So that's it for today's session. I hope all the questions are clear. And yeah, I will see you in the next session on on when on uh, I don't know what is today. Today is Wednesday. All right. So I'll see you in the next session on Friday. Okay. So goodbye. Take care and God bless.